YouTube land, what's good? It's your boy B Heard, aka Brian, aka Prince, aka Prince Virginia Bathane, aka PB. If you don't know me, future FGC commentator here, and we are here to do the preview show for the Capcom Cup 2018 in the esports arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, three weeks away, December 14th through the 16th. Ooh, -wee. I cannot wait. Uh, what better way to start it off than the number one seed versus the number 32 seed, which is something they never really done before. Well, they done obviously number one seed versus number 32 seed but what i'm meaning is tokido versus crossover they never actually gave the 32 seed to somebody that you know kind of needs the 32 seed so i don't know if they did the points thing because the 19 seed is actually the last chance qualified this year so i don't know if it's a points thing because crossover didn't technically qualify as far as points he got in through another means and we'll get into that when we get into that but uh yeah i'm guessing that's probably why it decided on 19 maybe they also felt that i was unfair for the number one seed but i thought that was like kind of the the gift and the curse of being the number one seed it's like yeah you're the best player in the cpt tournament and like it's like a, it's it's like it gives someone a chance at the best player, I guess, essentially. That's that's what I thought it was doing, but they thought that wasn't fair, so they're going to do it this way. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about Tokido versus Crossover. Uh, what I'm going to do is kind of similar into my other uh, preview shows for the big time tournament and the grand finale. I'm going to kind of talk about the results, maybe talk about some noticeable things about them, who they play, their, their points, the wins in tournaments, and stuff like that. Um, and then I'll give a prediction of who I think is going to win. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, Tokido. Echo Fox Tokido. Um, he, I think Punk had like 3,000 points last year, and that was because they, everybody was getting points last year, too. It wasn't as scarce as what this year, but, man, Tokido had some points. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, finished the year with uh, 4,431 points. First in global standings, obviously. Second in the Asia, Asia regional. Uh, finished with 310 points. So there's actually more. Well, I, I, there's actually more in the global and Latin America for crossover as far as his points go. Not to c combine, obviously, but man, he had some points. Actually, my. Uh, yeah. I want to say combine because he only got one more point. Yeah. Almost doubled. Jeez, my goodness. But anyway, let's get into it. Starting the year off right with the final round. Tokido finished second place, I think, to Infiltration, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then we had the TGU. That was his first win. Uh, I think it was a ranking event, so it wasn't like a premier event. Then NCR. NCR was his first premier win. Uh, finished fifth at Fighting Spirit. The BAM 10 finished first, the not a premier event. Combo Breaker, he ended up finishing ninth. CEO, he finished uh, 17th. And the interesting thing about him finishing 17th at CEO is he got sent to losers early. He got sent to the losers by a Kuma player. So I don't want to foreshadow anything, but Crossover has only been playing a Kuma this season. So, you know, if a Kuma player can send Tokido to losers early, it's possible. Somebody's done it. So, man. Uh, Evo, he finished in second. Uh, lost to Problem X. Uh, TW Fighter Major was a premier event. Finished in second. And then his worst finish of the whole year was the Esports Festival. Uh, at Hong Kong, he finished in 33rd. That was a premier event too. I could I looked at the player. I think the player is like Aki underscore twenty one, but I didn't get the chance to see who he played or who they played. Uh, so if you know who they played, please let me know down below. Because um, I would love to know if it's another Kuma player or if it's he lost Dogra and the loser side too. But Dogra plays like Irian, so that's not gonna do anything for this matchup in particular when we're doing a preview show. But you know. This is something noticeable, but bounced right back after that. Came back in first place at the Tokyo Game Show, and that's the premier event as well. And then the Southeast, Southeast, Southeastern Asia, Southeast Asia, Jesus Christ, Major 2018 Asia Regional Finals. He finished in second place. That was the open major part of it. He finished in second. Uh, Canada Cup, he ended up winning, uh, took first place there. And the North America Regional Finals, he sent. 
He's three. Oh, he came back from 2 0 and sent CJ Truth to losers, but then CJ Truth reset the bracket and then beat him. So he's finished in second. And that, that's the way that Tokido season ended. I mean, it's unfortunate how it ended, but now you have three weeks to train for this one opponent to beat this one opponent to go to the second round where it's either, I think, I believe. Excuse me for checking my phone. I was just looking at it. But I believe it's either Big Bird or Gachakun. So you want to get ready for that Rashid matchup, definitely. But then again, Big Bird also has a Zeku, which we will get into after this match, of course. But not, not to crap on a crossover or anything of that nature. Uh, crossover finished uh, 33rd in the Latin, Amigo, Latin America Regional Finals. Uh, that was the only premiere that he kind of went to, it seems like. But anything else, he plays pretty well. And uh, he had a Fighting Fest event where he finished fifth. And then the online event, the North online Latin America North 2 event, he won, took first place there. Um, essentially had 160 points in the Latin America regional section of it so he qualified the last seed as the eighth seed and basically got it because he only got one global point so he's technically the 75th seed but the fact that he won the last the latin america you automatically qualify so the fact that he was able to do that was huge and uh, like i said earlier he does play kuma as well i think he's played some yurian i think he's played some mika and i think he played some nikali I don't think we'll see those characters because his most success has been with the Kuma this year, a la, even though you have to play probably the best Kuma in the world, not just the region, the world, the world, Craig. <laughs> and Tokido and the best player, arguably. Um, yeah, that's that's has been his most success. Oh, uh, some notable things I wanted to mention too. Uh, Tokido was the E-League winner. He uh, beat Smug. And he also... Uh, won five tournaments this year three of them being premieres um crossover or had won two tournaments this year with the latin regional final or the the latin regional final not the premier side of it but the the final obviously because that's how he got the spot because like i said he was 75th and then the online latin american uh north two event so he won two tournaments this year um who do i have winning you know if Crossover was the last chance qualifier winner, I actually like his odds better in that sense versus Tokido having a whole three weeks to prepare for Yurokuma when he plays Akuma. I, I, I unless Crossover, you know, it, it, it's weird too because it's like unless Crossover picks somebody else like the the. Yurian, the, the Mika. I mean, you, you know, like I said, too, he lost to Dogra at his worst event, too. So, Dogra does play Yurian, so maybe he could see some things in that film and that matchup that he likes and maybe take a chance there. But it's like he he got here because of Akuma. He got here. His success was nothing but Akuma. He only played Akuma this season. So, I probably expect to see Akuma this season. And, you know, Tokido did get sent to losers by uh, Akuma this season, too. So maybe he could watch that film as well. But if, yeah, if Crossover was, like, the last chance qualifier and, and you know, Tokido didn't have time to prepare for his kind of play style of, of Akuma, I would like Crossover's odds a little bit more in his favor. But you get three, that's three weeks, bro. Three weeks for, for, for Tokido to prepare for your Akuma, and he's a Akuma main. He's won three premieres. He's won the E League. He's a reigning defending. Well, actually, he finished in grand finals last year. Um, crossover was an end event last year. Uh, thank God I remember that off the top of my head because I definitely didn't write that down. I knew I was forgetting something about last year's event. So. <sighs> And a lot of people, I don't, I don't want to say my predictions because I, uh, I do all sixteen matchups in round one, and I pick, predict who I have advancing. But then after that, I do the top eight and things of that nature, and like what the reveal is, or maybe something like that. But I, I have Tokido. I just think it's just too much time to prepare, too much time to showcase why he's the best in the world, too much, too much skill, too much power, too much. I think respect that crossover would probably get on me. I don't know if he's gonna play timid, but. Uh, 
is he gonna is crossover gonna be able to capitalize on the small amount of opportunities that he's going to have in this matchup? Because he's gonna have opportunities. It's just almost like if I press something minus two, what are you going to do with this? And so it's like, I think everybody yeah, got to test the waters. It's just like a boxing match. You got to kind of feel for what your opponent's going for, things of that nature. So, you know, cool. uh, Tokido is shown he might get clipped a little bit, but can crossover play perfect enough to keep it going? I don't see it. Now, if he gets upset, that, you know, that ruins everybody's bracket, like a, <laughs> like NCAA tournament style. But hey, that, I'm more happy for him. More power to you, brother. Um, yeah, I just, just I think Tokido is pretty strong. Good player. I, I obviously have him moving on. First thing, either Gachikun or Big Bird. I'm not too sure who I'm picking that one since it's a 16 17 seed matchup. That's going to be really tough to decide. But uh, be sure to look out for that video tomorrow. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want me to add as far as the style and, and the preview show and things of that nature. Um, like I said, besides work for Capcom next year, we're going to speak into existence. Besides to watch Capcom Cup. I love Capcom Cup, especially when the winner wins and, you know, it's a costume coming for the winner. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Until uh, next time, I'm out. Peace.